Good morning, Wildcats. It is Wednesday, December 12th. I'm Alexis. And I'm Brooke. Stay tuned for news about new coin currencies in Kenya, Japan's new military capabilities, and a segment on news to cure the blues. All this and more on this week's World News Wednesday. The Central Bank of Kenya on Tuesday unveiled four new currency coins with inscriptions depicting the country's rich wildlife. Kenya's new 1, 5, 10, and 20 shilling coins feature images of a giraffe, rhino, lion, and elephant, respectively on one side, with a Kenyan coat of arms on the other. The old coins had portraits of the country's former presidents, Jomo Kenyatta and Daniel Arap Moa. On Tuesday, a gunman opened fire on a church in the Brazilian city of Campinas, killing four people before turning the gun on himself. Police earlier said the shooter killed five, but have scaled that number down to four. Japan took a step on Tuesday towards expanding its military capabilities by advancing plans for aircraft carriers that can launch fighter jets. The plans, contained in a draft of new defense guidelines approved by the governing parties, would effectively arm Japan with its first aircraft carriers since World War II. The move risks inflaming a debate in Japan over whether such expanding military capability is compatible with the country's pacifist constitution. This could be constructed as offensive weapons beyond those deemed necessary for self-defense. Now stay tuned for this weekly segment, News to Cure the Blues. Thanks, guys. In West Jordan, Utah, Alphon Thacker created the Tiny Tim Toy Factory 16 years ago and has since made wooden toys to give to children in need around the globe. The nonprofit organization turns out between 80,000 to 120,000 toy cars per year through a volunteer workforce mainly composed of retirees. The highlight of my week is coming to the factory to help sand cars, said Wade Bender, a retired high school biology teacher and football coach. The factory gets the wood from leftovers donated by local lumberyards and cabinet makers, and the brushes and paint are bought through donations. Thacker estimates another 15,000 toys need to be created to reach his goal of 120,000 toys by the end of the year, but he's not worried. Stay tuned next week for more uplifting news like this. Back to you. Now to school news. Seniors who demonstrate leadership, drive, integrity, and citizenship with at least a 3.0 GPA may be eligible for a $10,000 scholarship granted by the GE Reagan Foundation. Applications are due January 4th. Students, the deadlines for these scholarships are coming up this week. The Florida Retired Educator Scholarship and the AXAA Achievement Scholarship. Don't forget to stop by the College and Career Center for more details. Yoga Club will be meeting today after school from 2.30 to 3.30 during the month of September in room 314. No experience or flexibility required. All are welcome. Wear comfortable clothes and bring a towel and your yoga mat if you have one. Hope to see you there. Visit Closet for Care if you need any clothes for the holiday season. For more information, go to Mrs. Hyde's room 387. You are always welcome. Students, the sophomore class is selling candy grams during A and B lunch. They are $2 each. Spread some holiday cheer and buy a candy gram. Wildcats, there will be a blood drive this upcoming Friday. Please sign up through the volunteers walking around during A and B lunch. That's all the news we have for you today. Updating you on the world news every week, this has been your World News Wednesday.